I'm pretty sure half of the population has heard in the previous past that um, the Saquon Barkley trade talks and stuff like that fired up. I haven't heard anything, but it has been reported in the past that there's trade rumors on uh, Saquon Barkley and all that. And it died down. Now, eventually now, as we speak today, they uh, are bringing those back up again due to the Buffalo Bills in their struggling in the running game. But we'll get to that in a minute. I'm back with another one of Daryl's Reactions. I am Daryl. And, of course, before we get into anything else, uh, this little video podcast is a courtesy of Double Taste Sports Talk. So we're on the social media side of everything. You can follow us on uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, Facebook at, at the uh, Watch Brothers fan page. Uh, Twitter and Instagram we're at DTSD2414. And of course, you can search the box. Double Taste Sports Talk with the Watch Brothers. You can like our videos, subscribe to our channel, like our videos, whatever. Do what you got to do, share. It's all good with us. So, let's talk about this real quick, because I really don't have a lot to say about this, but it's just a lot of speculation, a lot of rumor, and all of that, so I just wanted to give my quick thoughts about all of that. So now it has been reported when Boomer Esiason went into a podcast talking about that the Buffalo Bills could actually try to get Saquon Barkley in a blockbuster trade to help fix the Buffalo Bills running game. That really kind of caught my attention because, for one, he's not the only running back in the league. And two, this is all rumor speculated. What makes you think he may not be go- they may not be going after Saquon Barkley? There's other running backs they could go after. Now, even though he's intra-prone, yeah. Christian McCaffrey, he's intra-prone, but they could be going after him too. But then I sat there and I thought about it again, and I was like, well, okay. Would you do the one? Eventually, something will happen. So, if they actually did make this trade, you know, if they either acquire Saquon Barkley or uh, Christian McCaffrey or or another running back that's not getting along with their team, if that were to happen, what other part of the Buffalo Bills will fall over? Well, what happened? If this trade were to happen, sometimes for me, when it comes down to teams that are struggling in a certain area of the positions, it's best that you really, really practice your patience. Anybody can recall, um, the 2006 Indianapolis Colts. And their run defense was so bad that they were dead last in it. But, of course, they prevailed. The uh, players got healthy, Bob Sanders including. And they ended up winning the Super Bowl. Sometimes good things are just worth waiting for. And then eventually it'll pay off. But I don't think that the Bills should actually just run off and make a blockbuster trade like that. But, of course, I'm not running a team. And they may have a better sense of who they could get as a running back to help trade, to help fix the running game. But the Colts weren't any different. When they were struggling, they used time management. They straight up use time management to where the offense were the key focus of the game. And and they did it so well. 
they did it so well. So that's why I believe that Patience could really play a big role throughout this season. It, it's fresh. The season is just fresh. We're only three games in. Week four is going to start tonight. So, you know, it's one of the – one of your expectations is to improve within, you know, every season, within every play, within every possession. It's it's right there for open opportunities to continue to improve. And to me, being patient was one of them. But in this aspect, if the Bills – are looking to fix the running game. Saquon Barkley, Christian McCaffrey, they could get one of them or, um, you know, whoever else is having uh, team troubles or they just feel that, you know, we just need to actually take this risk and go for it and see what happens, which is absolutely nothing wrong with that at all. It's absolutely nothing wrong with it at all. But in my personal opinion, I would just rather be more patient. I would wait this out and see what happens. Because Josh Allen, is he's having a phenomenal season so far. With three games in, he's playing well. And they're just uprightly just dominating the league right now. Well, one of the teams dominating the league right now. So why not just be patient and wait? Hell, they might actually be patient and wait. You know, they might actually sit down and like, well, let's just see how this plays out. And let's see if they actually turn a more focus to Josh Allen to where the running game could get better. Maybe. Maybe not. But, you know, I I just had to throw my thoughts out there. But that's all I got. (laughs) That's all I got. Uh, Thank you you for listening to me. Uh, You know, I really appreciate since I started back girls reactions that I, we have been me and Darren with him, with his help, which I could, I appreciate a lot more has helped me with girls reactions at times without that, you know, it's y'all wouldn't be watching this on YouTube or Instagram. And I very well appreciate that. But Thank you for actually listening, watching all that good stuff. But until then, I'm out.